Hey guys, this is Aaron. Later on this week, we have a video coming out from Basecamp 2018 where Bonnie Roskus gives a bunch of tips on using SketchUp. She has information all over the place on, on great ways to use SketchUp. Uh, as I watched her video, one thing came to me, and that was uh, a, some ways, some tips about using layers and scenes to show different options for interior design. Now, Bonnie has experience with interior design, and I don't. I am not an interior designer. I don't pretend to be one. But um, the workflow, I think, is solid. So we're going to take a look at that with this model right here. So I have a pretty simple model. Uh, I have it broken into three separate groups. I have a group here that is all my furniture, the rug, the bed, everything is in one group. Uh, outside here, I have in a separate group. You can see that's on the outside layer. And then my walls and floors are in a third group. That group is currently on a layer called option one. What I want to look at is how to use SketchUp to present multiple different options for uh, decorating this layout. And what I want to look at specifically are the colors of the walls and floors. So it's not as simple as just throwing another coat of paint on these walls and saving it. That's not going to work. If you know SketchUp, I have one option for my materials and that's it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this first, this group right here, this group that is currently on option one, and I'm going to edit and copy it. So at this point, I'm going to turn off the option one layer. It's going to go away. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to paste in place. Paste in place is going to put that copied thing. I can't even see it, but the copy thing is going to go right back where it was. You notice as soon as I do that, nothing happens. That got pasted onto the same layer that the original was from. So it's currently on option one layer, which is off. So what I'm going to do right now before I do anything else is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change that to option two and hit enter. Look what happens. It shows up again because even though it wasn't visible, it was still highlighted. It was still selected. And as soon as I made that change, it put it onto a new layer called option two. So now if I turn off option two and option one back on, there's my option one. And here's my option two. So I'm gonna take my option two layer and make some changes. I'm just gonna double click into this group. I'm gonna use my paint bucket tool with the modifier key. And maybe I'll uh, pick this green color and put it on the walls. I'm just picking right out of this rug right here. I'll put this blue on the floor. All right, I should probably reiterate that I am not an interior designer in any way, shape or form. Um, so apologize if uh, anything I just did made anyone out there cringe. So. Here we go, we have two options now. So I could be uh, good at this point. This, this is actually not too bad of a way to show my two options for uh, these two designs. But I'm gonna take that a little bit further. That was a quick win, that wasn't a skill builder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put these into scenes so that I can switch between them, but not just throw them into scenes. I'm gonna actually put them into scenes so that all, ha all that happens when I toggle between scenes is just a change to the view, just a change to the materials. That's the only thing that will change. Not the view, uh, not the camera location, nothing else, just those materials. I'm going to do that by, here we'll go to option one first. I'm going to turn option one on. I'm going to add a scene. And I'm not just going to leave it at that. I'm going to drop down the additional information. I'm going to hit the... Uh, show details button over here on the right. I'm going to call it because I, uh, I'm good about this kind of thing. I'm going to call it option one and I'm going to turn some stuff off. I'm going to turn off include an animation, camera location. I'm going to turn off everything except visible layers. And then I'm going to update that scene. Are you sure you want to update that? Yes, I do. All right. So now I have an option one scene that's going to show me this. Now, without changing anything, I'm just going to toggle these two layers option one off, option two on, and I'm gonna create a new scene. You see that by default, this new scene takes the, the status of that last scene. So it is only capturing visible layers. So I can come in here now, change that to option two, and now I have option one and option two. So watch what happens when I click between these two. So this is probably what you expect, but because I only turn on the visible layers option here, when I come in here and say I'm getting a nice view of this bed, say I wanna, maybe I wanna render that or I wanna just take a shot of that to show, show my client what that's gonna look like, 
I can toggle between that from here too. So you don't have to worry about a new scene because I didn't include the camera location with my scene. So this means I can go to any view I want. So if I wanna look at a, a top-down view, what does that look like from above? I can set that, that view up, set that up beforehand, and then just click between the two just to see the materials change. So this is a great way not just to do interior design, but anytime you wanna look at something with different materials on it. You just save a copy of that to different layers and then create scenes where only the visible layers are active. So I hope you like that and I hope that was a new skill for you. If you did like it, go ahead and click like down below and go ahead and click subscribe too. That way you'll be notified when new videos come out and you'll know when Bonnie's video comes out later this week. If you have some ideas of what you'd like to see in Skill Builder, leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos, but like making them a lot more when there's something you wanna see. Thank you.